Bowser, this can't be! <laughs> yeah. Who would have guessed Bowser would come to kidnap Princess Peach? That's just unfathomable. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're hopping into the Nintendo 64 classic known as Paper Mario. Today I'm going to tell you the story of the Star Spirit Wishes. We're getting a little play here to introduce us to uh, Mario. I find that Mario has progressively gotten more and more sort of uh, dramatic in terms of imagining the games as plays as the series went on. You know, Mario 1, it was just straight up on, on the Nintendo. It was just a straight up, you know, Mario's in the Mushroom Kingdom. You know, don't ask questions, just go kill Bowser. Number two, he was in a dream. Number three is where they toyed with the idea of it being a play. And then ever since then, there have been sort of variations on the context in which Mario even takes place. So Paper Mario here, I think he's going back to Mario 3's roots. This is a Mario RPG developed by Intelligent Systems, the company behind Fire Emblem and the Wars series. So I think like Advanced Wars, um, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, of course, Bowser is the big bad guy. My oh, my one complaint about Mario games, the more I play more modern games, you know, I was raised, raised on the original trilogy, Mario 1, 2, and 3 on the NES. Um, and I also really liked Mario on the Super Nintendo, but those were my Mario games. The more I play more modern Mario games, the more I have a singular complaint, which is that the bad guy's always Bowser. You know, there's some minor variations here and there, but it would be like if in Batman, if every time Batman fought crime, the Joker was always behind it. I love the Joker as much as the next guy, but he loses some of his mystique and appeal if you overuse him. So, I, you know, Mario has Donkey Kong, Wario, Wart, which we've never seen since Mario 2. I mean, Nintendo, if for some reason someone working at Nintendo is watching this video, for the love of God, mix it up. Please, I'm begging you. I'm begging you at this point. Anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and press start here and enter the world of Paper Mario. So you've seen Mario in 2D. You have seen him in 3D. But have you seen him as in 2D in 3D? Because if not, you are about, uh, you are in for a treat. Uh, we will name the far, the, the file. I was gonna say the Fario. The file. We will name it Mario! Exclamation point. Bear with me while I type this in. Well, Mario, or, wait, where, where are the exclamation points? There are none. Oh, you're not allowed to be aggressive in this game. Oh, we have a musical note. Mario! So we kind of sing it. That's how you say the name of this, uh, this file. Why would they give you a musical note? Just, who's naming their files with musical notes? I don't know. It's kind of stupid, but whatever. <laughs> we'll just go with it. Man, Mario has really done everything, you know? When you think about it, like, he started out as, like, an action, uh, side-scrolling platformer character, and he's been in now, like, RPGs and sports games and, like, literally everything you can imagine. He was even missing in a game, and they still named the game after him. Mario is missing. He wasn't even in the game. They called him Mario, <laughs> you know? Like, he's even in games, and, and then there's a thing where, like, he's the referee and, like, Punch-Out and stuff like that. You know, like, Mario appears... Mario's just in everything. Anyway, I think this game has a really interesting style. We should be talking about uh, Paper Mario here. Really interesting style, how it's sort of like 2D sprites in a 3D world. It's interesting because, like, this concept is actually quite old. Um, like, going all the way back to games like Doom and Duke Nukem 3D. In those games, the enemies were 2D sprites. You know, like, if you go back and look... I, I think I've played both of them on my channel. You can, like, you know, look elsewhere if you want to. But if you go back and look, it's all 2D sprites um, in a 3D world. But Paper Mario, like, did that same thing, but they kind of, like, drew attention to it. It made it cool. And I think that kind of adds to, like, a really interesting style. Anyway, Peach is inviting us somewhere. And off we go to uh, a fancy party. Um, and, oh, look at this, warp tubes. I guess it's like in Futurama, how they all have those tubes to, like, travel around the city. Like, imagine you lived in a world where there was just, like, a personal travel tube just in, you know, and that would, like, suck you down from your front lawn and, like, jettison you out into town square or something. That'd be awesome. It's, w forget about self-driving cars. I want a sophisticated tube system to travel around my city the way Mario does. Also, it's interesting how, you know, if you think about it, Mario was a plumber from New York who came to the Mushroom Kingdom to save Peach in like 1986 and he's like never gone home 
Like he was just like, ah, I guess I, I live in the Mar Mushroom Kingdom now. Like he's 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 completely set up residence. He's he's uh he's foregone his his human parents and all human connection he ever had. And now he lives with uh, intelligent mushrooms. What a magnificent castle! Uh, I never get used to this place. It looks a lot like a lot of guests are already here. Oh, I bet you it's some kind of trap. I can guarantee. Oh, interesting. When you turn around. You sort of flip the page so you can see how he's completely flat. Um, let's see what's over here. Anything? We're going to go into this door and explore. There is a weird toad guy. Oh, hello there, Mario. I'm tasty. I really love to cook. You may not know this, but I cooked all the food for this big party. I made all of my most delicious dishes. But oh dear, I got so into cooking that I used up all my ingredients. Now I have to go shopping. That is like, that is like just generic how life works, my friend. <laughs> Does he want me to talk more? Uh, no, it's like the same, it's the same crap. Okay, he needs to go shopping. Um, in case anyone was wondering, the chef needs to go shopping. Hey, we can jump. That's awesome. Um, I hope we get to like bounce on some dudes. Um, so this is an RPG, so it's going to be based on like stats and stuff like that. But I do hope we kind of get some platforming action. Even in Mario RPG for the Super Nintendo, they gave you some uh, platforming action. Um, because, you know, Mario wouldn't be Mario. If Mario was in a game where he didn't jump, I would say it's not a Mario game. Like, that's the one thing every Mario game has in common. Mario can jump. Hey, look, a penguin. This castle is absolutely breathtaking, don't you think? I wish I could stay at uh, Peach's castle forever. Well, you're just homeless is what you are. Uh, Princess Peach uh, went into her private chambers just now. She must be a bit tired. Well, don't mind if I do. <laughs> Closed door between me and Princess Peach never stopped Mario from barging into her bedroom. Oh, um, well, look at this party. Like, a little fancy party. Um, so if, if, if you were... Oh, look, there's like a little mouse, too. And what what is this? Interesting. There, there's even toad stools, toad fellows of different cultures. And look at this! Koopas? are getting along what is a koopa doing here i gotta talk to this guy hold on hold on give me give me this, this the talk bubble i come from koopa village where which is just down the road from here oh i just uh had the honor of talking with princess peach what a wonderful lady she is dude why why are you in king koopa's army and why have i had to jump on your head and kick you into to pipes repeatedly if you're so into princess peach stop kidnapping her there's a thought this is Princess Peach's room. I'm afraid she's in here at the moment. Yo, let me in. Let me in. Let me in. You little, you little punk. I'll slay you. Or better yet, the next time you get captured, don't come crying to me. I will definitely not be rescuing you. Uh, let's stick out with this door where this one goes over here. Where are the Mario Karts kept? I want to find like the garage where Princess Peach's like 30 collectible carts are. And uh, we can just like enter a quick game of Mario Kart. Yeah, I have no idea where I'm going. I, you know what? To be tr truth be told, I wasn't really paying attention to that letter that she sent us, so I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing at the castle. My plan is to follow the big doors and just uh, kind of explore. Oh, wait, wait a second. You come to the party to see me. You're so sweet. Thank you. Wait, didn't they say that Princess Peach is in her room? What is going on here? So this is clearly some kind of doppelganger clone. I don't know if she's the fake one or the one in her room is the fake one, but one of them is Bowser in a Halloween mask. I, I guarantee it. I was just resting a bit. It gets tiring greeting all those guests out there. Uh, nobody will bother us here. Shall we relax and chat? Just the two of us. Wink, wink. Yes. He's like, yes, let's uh, chat in that dark corner over there, baby. It was all, uh, I was, uh, it was a lovely day today, so I'm sure it's comfortable out on the balcony right now would you accompany me mario sure mario really needs to eat a mushroom before he comes to see princess peach or she'll get the wrong idea about the guy he's like half her size if he had a mushroom he'd be all man he'd be just you know like towering above her an adonis but uh okay so pro tip don't build your castle on a more evil castle because it will get kidnapped as as happened here did no one check the foundations before they built princess peach's castle because they accidentally built it on top of Bowser's secret underground lair. That's, what are the odds? All right, so Bowser's evil clown car thing has stolen the castle and they're just running back and forth. Cause that's, uh, that's what you do. 
You know, I miss the days when Princess Peach was like an active character. In Mario 2, she was active, and ever since then, she's just been like a helpless victim, except in the, the one where Mario's a cat. There you can play as her too, and she's great, but... Uh, we are right, Mario, what in the world was that? Like, she she does, she does can fight, she, she holds her own in Smash Brothers, but suddenly when Bowser shows up, she's just like cowering in the corner, can't do a thing. Oh my, look, Mario, it's still daytime, isn't it? But I can see the stars outside. That don't make no sense. That don't make no sense. All right, there's Bowser. I guess it wasn't a trap. I, I don't understand how she was in her room and I went into a different room and I encountered her. There must be secret passages in this castle. Anyway, Bowser, this can't be. <laughs> yeah. Who would have guessed Bowser would come to Prince kidnap Princess Peach? That's just unfathomable. It's not like it happens every goddamn week. The <laughs> uh, Yeah, that was me. I lifted the castle up into the sky. Well, you weren't expecting this castle's under my control now, my dear. Now you will obey me. Yes, I've lifted your castle into the sky. Therefore, you will obey me. It's Mario. What a shock. Um, I've only beaten him like 24 times in the past 23 days in various adventures. Um, over various systems the last 20 years. Unfortunately for you, there's nothing that can be done this time. Um, blah, 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 blah. Bit of banter back and forth. Of course, Mario's gonna prevail. Basically, Bowser will beat Mario in this one fight. Mario will go have to level up and come back and save Peach. That's, that's the entire game. I just summed it up for you right, right now. Let's see. Okay, finally we get to see how this action goes. So Mario's only action is to jump. We'll jump on Bowser for one point of damage. Oh god, Bowser's just gonna straight up slash. Oh, for only one point of damage. Not bad at all. All right, and boom. I'm tapping the, the jump button when I land on Bowser, kind of in, as instinct from Mario RPG on the Super Nintendo. Because if you timed your like jumps, if, if you pressed a button just as your character attacked, you do extra damage. I don't think that works here though, which is too bad. That was a nice little addition that made turn the RPG from just a, a, a completely a game of stats and picking options into there was a bit of action in it. And I believe, if I'm remembering correctly, that uh, gameplay mechanic came from Shigeru Miyamoto's suggestion to uh, the folks at, I think it was Square, who made Mario RPG for the Super Nintendo. It's interesting how they didn't go back to Square to make this. Like, this is made by Intelligent Systems. Like, a different company made this RPG as opposed to the one on Super Nintendo. I, I wonder why they did that. Anyway, Bowser is like super powered now and he's just totally gonna stomp me. Uh, danger. I'm probably gonna do like no damage. Gwaha, is that all you've got? How sad. Best to take your vitamins, Mario. He's gonna pummel me. Is there like a flea? How about, is there like an option to like leave the princess to solve her own problems? Doesn't that seem to be an option? Anyways, uh, Mario gets his butt kicked here. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, you know, I, I mentioned how I liked uh, the fact that uh, these sprites are like this game is like a 2D in 3D game. Geez, he did 10 damage with just that. The whole uh, whole other battle, he didn't have to do a thing. And Princess Peach is like, "Oh no, Mario, get up!" And he's like, "Ah, I did it! I finally beat Mario! Yes!" Uh, only it's short lived. As long as I have this star rod, everything I wish comes true. No one can stop me now. Damn, imagine that was the thing. I wish I had the star rod in real life. Um, anyway, and so off I go, and we're off to have a grand adventure, and we will return to the castle uh, later on. Um, I feel like every Mario RPG starts with fighting Bowser. <laughs> it's like the first, the first scene or two is fighting Bowser, and then later on, you know, you gotta go fight the real boss. But uh, I already said how I like the 2D and 3D. I don't really do, I like the style, it's kind of neat, neat idea. I, I was kind of wondering when I was getting ready to play this game, like why, like how Nintendo came up with the idea to do 2D and 3D, and I, I have a theory. My theory is that it's because the N64 was underpowered for its time, right? Like, so the N64, well, I don't know if it was necessarily underpowered, but it used cartridge-based games. And cartridge-based games hold, hold way less data than Sony PlayStation CDs. For, you know, the Sony PlayStation and the N64 were competitors. And the Sony PlayStation actually had way more 3D games, uh, more sophisticated 3D games than the N64 did because it was not limited 
by the cartridge. What's happening here, by the way? Is Mario dead and a bunch of star gods are about to revive him? That one with the sailor hat looks like uh, the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. See that guy? He's like in the background right now. That's funny. It's like all these various stars. They love Mario so much. He's been gravely injured, but I think he'll recover. But Bowser has the star rod. Now he's mightier than Mario. All hope is lost. Um, I will return to my thought on the N64 in a second here, guys. But everyone calm down. As long as we keep it together, there's always hope. Blah, blah, blah. They're going to revive Mario. And uh, they're going to send him on a magical quest of friendship and magic in order to gain powers and beat Mario. Uh, beat Bowser. <laughs> Can't even talk. Um, but anyway, yeah, so the N64 was a little underpowered in terms of its capacity. And so basically, if you wanted to make a completely 3D Mario RPG, it probably wasn't in the card. So my theory is the developers wanted to make a 3D Mario RPG, but realized that if they made all the characters 2D, they could create a much more elaborate world. And as a result, they did that. And... The style of Mario, Paper Mario here comes from a design limitation, a technical limitation of the N64. Again, it's just my own theory, but if I'm right, I think it's sort of an, a good example of how, you know, necessity is the mother of all invention. And technical limitations aren't always necessarily bad because it forces developers to come up with creative solutions that themselves might be really neat things that they wouldn't have discovered otherwise. Like, nowadays, if you want to make a 3D Mario game, you just make it. You don't worry about technical limitations. And so maybe if we went right from the Super Nintendo to, like, the Nintendo Switch in terms of processing power, like, there was a huge leap forward in technical computing at the time, we never would have got Paper Mario. Which, you know, again, the style's cool, so I think it would have been a loss. Um, I don't know why, by the way, there's a little Goomba trying to save me. And the Goomba's, like, distraught that I'm not waking up. I probably killed this Goomba's parents. Goompa Goombario. What? <laughs> Goombario. Is there like a, a Mario fan Goomba? My god. Goombas are saving me. What kind of world do we live in where Koopa, Koopa Troopers are attending Princess Peach's parties and Goombas are saving Mario? This is truly the, 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 a game that comes from the imagination of someone who's never truly played Mario. They're like, oh, there's Goombas and Koopas. Okay, so those are like friends of Mario. And it's like, well, he kind of kills them. He kind of genocides them en masse every game. And it's like, yeah, yeah, but, you know, like, they, they still like him, right? You know? And uh, it's hard to explain to the person that, no, Goombas and Koopas are on the opposite side of Mario. They are not his friend. They, uh, if anything, they would be terrified of him. Um, anyway, Toad, one of the various Toads, one of the various uh, genderless, asexual... Uh, Bland Toads has saved us. Uh, the Goombas in the family are just the nicest folks you'll ever meet. They're the ones that found you unconscious. Hmm, maybe I've been wrong to murder Goombas for all these years, stomping them into the ground and leaving their corpses to rot as I run to a, a flagpole in the horizon. Maybe I shouldn't have been doing that. I didn't know Goombas were people. I thought they were a subhuman class of monsters. It didn't even deserve the, the most basic human rights. <laughs> uh, anyway, I feel like that joke is running its course. Um, okay, so Toad's continuing to tell me about Goombas. One thing I do find about all, all these RPGs is there there's a lot of dialogue. There's definitely a lot of dialogue. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Thanks. Thanks for nothing, Toad. You saved me. Screw you. Hey, look at all these Goombas. Let's jump on them. Hey yeah! Oh, man. Imagine you could totally stomp them. It's like, you know, thanks for saving me. Let me stomp you into the dirt. I'm Goombario. I'm your biggest fan. Uh, you don't know what this means for me to meet you, seriously. Okay. Um, here's... There's an ancient Goomba. How did I... How did you live to be old age? I should have stomped you to death a long time ago. Uh, you may call me Gooma. Uh, he's the grand... She's the grandmother, etc., etc. All right. So, anyway... Um, Alright, we're, we're in some kind of bizarro Goomba village. Hey, look, is this a save point? Uh, save your progress. When this game is over, the staffs will return. Okay. Go ahead and save the game. Save complete. Cool. Um, let's see. If we can just get out of here. I, I actually probably should have listened to Toad a little bit. What is this? Oh, coins! You can, like, shake the bushes and get coins. What is this thing here? 
What is this? Nothing. Okay. Off we go then, to Grand Adventures! So I'm sure Toad gave us important information, but for our purposes, we just want to go kill things. Okay. This I guess this is where they found us. Hmm. All right. Well, let, let's. Uh, okay. Let, let's check to see what all these little goombas have to say. Uh, blah blah blah. <laughs> it's locked. You can't open it. Okay. So there's the exit point. So let's go in here. Let's find Goompapa. And see if Goompapa will let us out of uh, Goomba Town here. And off we go. Hello, sir! Uh, you startled me! It's Mara, isn't it? So you've awakened last. Good to know you'd pull through. Call me Goompa. I'm the Goomba grandfather, so I'm Goompa. Uh, I'm sorry, but uh, would you mind giving me the details later? I'm pretty busy fixing the veranda. Huh. Okay. So can I help you fix the veranda, maybe? Somehow. Okay, buttons do nothing. One button jumps, and that's all I've been able to figure out. Oh, I, I figured out I can bring down, like, my, my health. So that's handy if you want to see that. Maybe I'll leave that up for your guys' sake. These arrows do nothing. Okay, so. Let's just talk to all these kids and see what happens. Howdy, Mario. Feeling better? Feel free to rest in our house. It's such a shabby place. Wait, 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 hold on. He said something about... Hit Little Hitler Goomba here said something about fixing the gate. Um, if you take this road straight ahead, you'll eventually reach Toad Town, the home of Princess Peach's castle. Believe the shooting summit. It's too bad you can't stay. Okay. Best of luck, Mario. Hee hee hee. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, that's all we had to do. Just talk to little uh, Hitler Goomba there. And we uh, eventually would get out of here. Blee hee hee. My instincts were right. Mario, I can't believe you're on your feet again after taking such a beating from King Bowser. You're a hardy one, all right? I was smart to come here to check on you. What? What? What's that, Daddy? What's that weird flying thing? Weird, you rude little. I'm a beautiful Koopa with a beautiful name, Cammy Koopa. Hmm, I wish I had time to teach you a lesson, Brad, but no. Mario, hear this. It is useless for you to try and save Princess Peach. Ridiculous, laughable. Blah, 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 blah. All right, they're going to attack me with something. A giant block. Kablamo! Hee, 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 hee. Mario, you will kneel and weep when you see the wonderful changes King Bowser's made. Um, and off he goes, what are Bowser's social policies? Like, where does he stand on universal health care and, like, taxes and, like, you know, like, uh, important issues, you know? Like, like what what are Bowser's... What, are, what What's he trying to accomplish? Um, why does he want to be in charge so bad? Um, if I've learned from Game of Thrones anything, it's that uh, being the king is not all it's cracked up to be. Uh, you'll probably get assassinated before your time, and uh, people in your court will replace you with somebody who's going to fill their pockets. Uh, Mario's got to save Princess. Nobody else can do it. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, I, I saw the word veranda in there. So I'm going to go to see Goompa on the veranda, and hopefully he can help me out. And off we go. All right, Goompa. Oh, my God. What happened to the veranda? <laughs> Goompa, you fool. You've killed us all. Oh, Goompa. What the heck? Why did the veranda, like, blink there? What? <laughs> I guess when you're made of paper, falling large distances is actually not that terrifying. Um, alright. By the way, um, here's a title or a, a status screen, so if you want to see what's going on. We have no items, no spirits. Here's our map, which actually looks pretty cool, so we can finally see, like, where we gotta go. That's kind of neat. So there's actually quite a lot of villages and stuff. I'm, I'm excited to encounter that stuff. And uh, here's all our statistics. We have five flower points. So there you go. Off to Grand Adventures. And here's Goompa. Goompa, what the heck happened? Oh, my back. What was that? Thank you, Mario. I remember a great crashing noise, and then the veranda collapsed, and I fell. Did you fall too? Uh, blah, 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 blah. <coughs> and here's a giant block. This block shouldn't be here. Well, this is a problem for us. You don't say. A hammer. I was using it to fix the randa around here somewhere. Okay, so find find a hammer. Look for a hammer. And a hammer, we can use it to break the block. Um, 
Uh, can, can we get in here? No, okay, let's, let's try going this way. Is Grandpa, is Goomba following us? Goomba is on our quest with us. The hammer's got to where it looks just like this. Look in that bushes, might cover it up. Okay, so he's teaching us how to like search through bushes. Coin, coin! Mario needs a coin. Papa needs a new pair of everything. Um, now when this game was in development, by the way, um, th it was originally uh, in development for the N64 DD. I don't know if you guys have heard of that before. It's the, Ninten the Nintendo 64 disk drive. It was a peripheral released only in Japan, and games were released on it. So like SimCity, there is a SimCity for the Nintendo 64. Oh, that was kind of fun. Um, and it only exists in Japan. Oh, we found the hammer. Mario can do the attack now. You can smash the yellow block. Cool, just like Legend of Zelda. Um, okay, blah, blah, blah. Boom, all right, we can smash stuff, good. Let's go, let's go get our aggressions out. Um, but yeah, the N64 DD. Very interesting um, peripheral. It, and it never made it to North America. So, I mean, I, I'm guessing part of the reason they didn't end up eventually releasing this on the DD is because they wouldn't have been able to release it outside of uh, Japan. But, uh, but yeah, I, I've long wanted to play a game on the DD. Um, I, I'd love to try SimCity 64 because it's a game that I, you know, I like SimCity. Youch! Oh, he just got attacked on the other screen. All right, there's a fight of brewing. Uh, it's a turtle who's in an egg. This is like fighting a baby in a diaper. <laughs> uh, the Master Junior Trooper. All right, let's kick this guy's butt. Let's teach him the true meaning of pain. Mario and a decrepit old man are gonna fight a baby. This is what you guys all been tuning in for. Um, he's more bark than his bite. You can beat him easily. Just boost yourself up and you don't take any lip. I'll stay right here. All right. Uh, let's hit him with the hammer. Why not? Smash him right in the face. Boom! One point of damage. That's it? Oh, excellent. Good move. Go on. Thumbs up, buddy. Um, he did one point of damage to me. How about we just jump on him? Jump on his face! A boot to the face. Drop kick him in the face. <laughs> But uh, yeah, anyway, the N64 DD, interesting idea for a uh, peripheral. It's weird that it didn't get released out of uh, Japan, but I mean, it just didn't. Um, I feel like Nintendo has like a, a habit of sort of not fully following through on um, on, on hardware, or, or they have just kind of like a weird relationship with hardware. Like, did you guys know um, so this game was eventually re-released for the Wii, the Wii U, and also a system called the IQ, which is, oh, he's powering up, which is a version of the N64 that was only ever released in China. Um, and you can look it up. It's very bizarre. Um, it's called the IQ in English, but it was never released in an English-speaking country. So the Chinese name translates into the Divine Gaming Machine. And I think they did all this to basically... Um, we got star points, yay. Um, they did all this to get around the fact that foreign companies aren't allowed to release uh, video game consoles in China, so Nintendo had to pair up with a Chinese company to release a version of the Nintendo 64, but it's very weird. It's very weird. Um, and of course, Nintendo, back in the day of Famicom and NES, they partnered with Sharp to produce a special TV that had a Famicom built in, which is actually a really rare collector's item these days. It's kind of cool. And then they like famously partnered with like Sony and Philips to create a CD add-on for the Super Nintendo, and their relationship with Sony fell apart. And they, as a result of of sort of Nintendo going behind Sony's back and canceling their partnership, Sony released the PlayStation, which became uh, you know even more dominant than Nintendo. So they created their own worst enemy. And of course, there are those terrible Zelda CDI games that are the result of their failed partnership with Philips. So Nintendo has this like weird relationship with hardware. And then of course, don't get me started on the Virtual Boy. You know, great idea for a console, but they basically released a prototype and everyone knew it. And the thing like was just a disaster. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. Um, you know, one, one piece of hardware I would love for them to release is a Nintendo 64 mini. I was actually kind of waiting on playing this game because I thought that maybe they'd release a Nintendo 64 Mini and I would love to play 
Um, I would love to get a hold... So, so like, the Nintendo 64 is not a system that I grew up with, so it doesn't have t any nostalgic appeal for me, really, at all, to be totally honest, because I didn't play these games growing up. But I do love retro games, and I feel like the Nintendo 64 is such a unique... Uh, console, but the controllers there, uh, we got a fire flower by the way, the analog stick of the controllers actually wear out, um, oh interesting so we can, a fire flower that burns all enemies okay, so we can actually use that in combat maybe um, but the analog sticks of the Nintendo 64 controller actually wear out, which means that all N64s out there eventually are not going to really be playable properly because the controllers will burn out. So it'd be really cool to see a Nintendo 64 Mini come out for the sole purpose. Well, there's two purposes. One is so that Nintendo could release new controllers with more durable analog sticks that will stand the test of time so we can get like uh, an updated... Uh, better working analog controller, but second it's because the original N64 does not have HDMI output So if you guys are watching this I'm recording this using an S video output Which if you know anything about video it's like not as sharp as HDMI So it would be nice if we got an, H uh, an N64 mini just to have the high definition uh, gameplay, but anyway um, Striking first helps in battle All these guys are like, giving me tips and stuff. I'm only like marginally paying attention um, I feel like, oh, here's an evil Goomba. What happened to all the nice Goombas? Oh, he's gonna watch me literally crush one of his, his Goomba compadres. We could fire flower him, but I feel like there is no point. All right, smack him with a hammer. I wish I did more than one point of damage. I feel so, so puny. Plus the hammer and the boot, they seem to have like no advantages or over one another, you know? Like they each, they each do one point of damage. You know, it, there seems to be like no, it's not like the the hammer is good against armor and the boot is good against agility or something like that. Okay, he attacked me from behind, so what does that mean? Uh, the spike on his head, be careful not to, oh! <laughs> I was just talking about how the jump and the hammer have no advantages or disadvantages. I guess maybe they do, I guess for some enemies it matters, so. Um, the hammer is kind of actually a cool item that Mario has had in the past comes from Donkey Kong, obviously. That would be neat to see him, uh, see him use more of, you know? Like, he only ever uses it in these, like, rare games, like these RPGs and stuff, but, um, it's, it's kind of cool to see him, like, bust out the hammer, um, and actually use it. Um, it reminds me of how in Super Mario Special, which was a version of Mario 1 created by Hudson Soft for, um, NEC PC-88 Japanese computers, they actually brought in bad guys from the Mario arcade game in addition to the bad guys from Mario 1. So there's like actually, you know, more more of a mix of characters from previous Mario games in Mario Special, which is kind of cool. Um, it's kind of, it, you know, in the same way it's like how I wish Shy Guys were more more prevalent in uh, in Mario games. You only, you only ever really see them in like RPGs and stuff. Like Shy Guys might be in this game but they're definitely not in any platforming Mario games. I want a platformer Mario game where we get bad guys from Mario 2, from Mario the Arcade game, and where we have the hammer. That's what I want. Let's, let, let's forget about coming up with new power-ups. Let's, let's have like a, a throwback series. You can jump over one enemy to attack one behind it too. Oh, so the hammer and the jump. Oh, so the jump can only attack air guys. And I can pick which one I want to jump on, cool. Um, yeah, so it'd be cool to have, like, a throwback, um, Mario, where you can, uh, where, where you see, like, all these guys from, like, Mario's past. You know, that'd be kind of cool. because uh, Mario has a deep bench of characters and items, and so take advantage of it. Take advantage of it, man. Um, you know what I wonder, though? If they released a Nintendo 64 Mini, would they update the controller at all, or would they just leave it totally as is and just, like, you know, build it with slightly better quality for the analog stick? Because the Nintendo 64 controller, I've always said this, is very, it's really weird. It's basically an abomination. <laughs> like, if you grew up with it, you probably love it, and it has a lot of nostalgic appeal. But it really is, like, I'm holding the analog, you know, dongle in the middle, and then the, the buttons on the right. The D-pad is, like, totally out of reach. I can't even use it. And forget about the, the L, uh, you know, trigger or whatever. Like, I, I'm on z uh, the Z, the Z trigger and the, the right trigger. But the L one is just useless. Like, think, compared to, like, an Xbox or a PlayStation controller nowadays, the D-pad is usable. 
You know, it's not just, uh, it, it's not something that you just don't use. Uh, hey, we saved Grandpa, by the way. So, yeah, it's kind of a weird relic. I mean, it was revolutionary in its day, don't get me wrong. And we wouldn't have the Xbox or the PlayStation controller if we didn't have this N64 controller. But at the same time, it's, uh, it's really a dated design, to be totally honest. But actually, you know, it's, it's, I, I've been, haven't even really been thinking about it much in this game. Like, it, it, it plays very well so far, um, this game. And actually, you know what, the more N64 I play, the more I do get used to the controller. As I say, I didn't have the system growing up, so. Um, anyway, we saved, we saved Grandpa Koopa. Um, do you guys wish I was reading the story more, by the way, or, like, really getting into this game? Um, I feel like, sometimes I feel silly reading too much of this story, because I feel like a lot of this dialogue is just, like, filler, you know? Like, the, the characters just are like, yay, Mario's back! Uh, when he does his head bonk move, it really hurts! Uh, oh, and be quiet, it's Goombario, you're embarrassing me, of course it is true, you know, like, it's just sort of like nonsense filler, like, if you want to read it, you can, like, pause the video, but I feel like it's more interesting for us to just reminisce about <laughs> Nintendo as a whole, rapping, wait, they're talking about rapping, what's going on, you got power jump badge, Mario stomps on a single enemy using a lot of attack power. Okay, so maybe my jumps are worth more now. If you're wearing this, you'll be able to do a power jump. You'll be able to do a lot more damage. But listen here, listen well. You'll only be able to do it if you're wearing the badge. You better try it first. Putting the badge on and taking them off is a vital skill. Uh, yeah, okay. Show me how to do that. Press start. Uh, here's how you put on badges. Um, use the control stick to the badge tab. Uh, and then press A to enter the badge screen. Press A again, and then wearing this badge often uh, takes badge points. This takes one. All right, so we will wear one badge. The badge is now on. Press the A button again to take it off. Okay, and press the A, uh, one badge point is returned. Okay. Now remember, you need flower points to use this power jump technique. Ah, remember that we saw the block like this? These blocks will restore your hit points, but also flower points. They're lifesaver. See, like this is the dialogue that's like relevant to actually read. This is not not the like little banter of Goombario and his dorky sister. Um, you're taking yourself to try and rescue the princess from Bowser's clutches. Yes, I am. Mario can beat Bowser with one hand behind his back. Aren't you guys loyal to King Koopa? What what kind of world do we live in where the Goombas support Mario? This is like a side of the Mushroom Kingdom I've never seen before. In every other media I've ever experienced, the Goombas are... Look at their eyebrows. They're just... They're they are always scowling. How are they good guys? Anyway. He's complaining about his back pain. And the kids want to come. But I don't, I don't need no stinking kids on my trip. And... Uh, oh, Goombario did join the trip. Press down to have him tell you about people, places nearby. Goombario is also helpful during battles. He can attack with a head bonk. Or he can tell you about an enemy's features and hit points using the tattle <laughs> ability. His ability is he's a tattletale. That is not an ability. <laughs> That's an annoying quality of children. All right, let's let's go. Let's get this on the road. All this all this rigmarole just to like add a character and show me how to add badges. All right, kaboom! There we go. Problem solved. I have a feeling your road will be lined with difficulties. Try not to overdo it. All right. Well, it was nice meeting you, Goomba Hitler. Good luck rebuilding the fence, buddy. What does this say? Beware of Goombas. Oh my god, and the Goomba came off the thing to attack us. Man, that's meta. He's literally made of paper. Hey Mario, during battle, you can change the order we attack in with Zed. I can attack first if you want. I don't mind at all. Just keep that in mind, okay? Okay, let's do this. He has abilities. Uh, see an enemy's description and make hit points visible. Let's let's just see what he says about fellow Goombas. This is a Goomba. Goombas are what you'd call small fries. Actually, they're pretty much the smallest fries. Hey, wait a minute. I'm one of them. Uh, max hit points 2, attack power 1, defense 0. You can jump on them or whack them with the hammer. Uh, these guys are old school. They've been around since you were in Super Mario Brothers. Alright, little boy. Well, let's just... Stomp this guy right on his stinking face. And he's gonna hit me. And I'm gonna stomp him again. We really need health. Mario is 
Quite close to death, actually. Three of ten. Um, all right, and little baby Goomba's happy about that. God, there's three Goombas. Oh my God, and there's a pair of them. Okay. This is where we go into items. That burns all enemies. Let's do it, because I, I don't want to take any chances here. Mario can't die on, uh, on Goombas. Oh, there we go, that, that's not what I was expecting. I thought Mario would at least hold the flower and like shoot at the Goombas. Five stars. Oh, and we needed that heart. We needed that heart bad. All right, let's see what we got going on here. Okay, let's have let's have an actual fight. So we'll jump on this guy. And we'll have little baby Goomba. Head bonk. That guy. Bang! All right, so we can kill... For every attack cycle, we can kill one Goomba. I guess you can't set it up so that... Like, they keep attacking Mario, but I want to set it up so that, like, this little baby Goomba is the one who, like, gets attacked for a bit because Mario's low on health. I want to, like, basically enter battle holding a child in front of me be like, Here, somebody, you know, take him for the love of God, spare me. <laughs> All right, here we go. Coin. Nothing. I do like how there's still, like, blocks and stuff to break. You can also run by these guys if you want. Do you gain experience killing these guys? I guess we only get coins. I don't know if it's worth it to kill them, but we'll kill them. Because why not? Why not us? And... Face plant! You know, head, for anyone out there who, who like knows how to fight, is headbutting as painful as it seems? Because, like, it, I don't know if it's just me, but, like, if I was in a fight, I wouldn't use my head as a weapon. I, that's, like, a desperation move. When, by the time you're using your own face as like a hammer to butt it into somebody else like that's that that's not good I don't know like I think headbutting someone would would hurt a hell of a lot um, oh I made the first strike oh and I hurt myself <laughs> okay oh and I don't have any items uh oh this is this is bad we really got to kill the spiky guy right away because he will probably kill mario oh no you're injured and can't move oh no mario oh he's dead what happens what happens when mario dies this oh my god game over no mario no i regret everything and then what you just go in and you wait Wait, 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 wait. Oh my God, are you kidding me? I gotta do this all over again? Oh, there's no autosave, you son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, damn it. Like, I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like that's totally unfair. Like, first of all, there should be checkpoints that save your progress, okay? But, you know, that, that aside, I'm on level one. There was like no health. Like, cut a guy a break, man. Cut a guy a break. For the love of God. How, how am I dying to Goombas? How am I dying to Goombas? It's just nonsense. All right, so let me try and get back to where we were as quick as possible here. At least you can skip this dialogue fairly fast, but... Oh, fuck. Like, it's not even like I was thinking we'd get that far in this game today, but it did. It does kind of feel like we had just gotten out of the tutorial levels. And so I kind of wanted to, you know, see a little bit further of the game, you know, go a little bit further. Um, I'd at least like to fight a Koopa, one who's not a baby in a, uh, in a diaper. Hey, guess what? I guess let's save our game because the game's... Like, it saves in two seconds. Why doesn't the game just save for us? I don't know. And I'm going to eschew all the coins. Forget about the coins. Forget about breaking bricks. Not interested in it this time around. I... Well, I'll, I'll, I'll get these coins. So when there's coins in mass, I'll get them. But I'm not going to go, like, search all these bushes like this and get all the coins. But I will take these, too, because I searched the bushes. But that's it. That's it. We're, we're off to uh, off to catch up to where we were. Yeah, first strike. All right. The one thing that was helpful about uh, 
about, I guess, getting further in the game is they told you how to actually interact with the battles. So something like that is what I was talking about with uh, Mario RPG on the Super Nintendo. In Mario RPG on the Super Nintendo, you could, uh, I wonder if you could just like, boom, first strike, yeah, all right, so you can make a first strike on all kinds of bad guys, cool. Again, in the Super Nintendo, every time you like attack, you would press A, like now, and you would do, instead of one damage, you do two. Uh, so you, if you time an extra button while you're in the actual combat, you can have an impact on the, the combat, which I think is kind of cool. Um, it seems like that would be fun to have here too, but the uh, first strike mechanic is actually, you know what, it's reasonable. It's completely reasonable. So I, I, I actually kind of like it too, so. Yeah, you know, whatever. The f just the, the fact that you can do an extra little thing in combat to make a difference, you know. And in the Super Nintendo version, I think when people were attacking you, if you tap the button right when they attack, you could potentially, like, block or take a little less damage. So... Um, again, the combat was a little more dynamic in Super Nintendo, but at least this one you can get uh, get a little action going from the, the get go. Here we're gonna here's our here's our grand strategy this time is to not die. Boom! First strike. How do you like that? Jump on your face before battle even starts. I enter battle by jumping on your head, just to disorient you, and then I jump on it again. It's like in the scene of The Dark Knight where Batman enters the interrogation room by slamming Joker's face down on the interrogation table. That's basically the Mario move. You enter battle by slamming your opponent's face. Uh, that's a free hit, baby. Batman and Mario know the value of a free punch to the face. Um, Bat Mario's doing it to save a princess, and Batman's doing it as an advanced interrogation technique against a, uh, you know, criminal terrorist, so... Uh, they have different goals in life, Batman and Mario, but in many ways they are the same. All right, we, we made it, sort of. Let's skip all this crappy dialogue and get to it. I wonder if Goombario will, like, later get a complex when he goes on his little quest here and helps Mario slaughter other Goombas. Like, when he's older and he understands what he did, is he gonna be like, oh my god, like, I literally helped kill my own kind, you know? Like, is he gonna suffer, like, uh... Like, uh, you know, guilt about it? I don't know. I, I feel bad for him if he does, but I mean, it's kind of Goomba's fault for letting him go on a quest to slaughter other Goombas. You know, this kid, he knows not what he does. He's just enthralled by, like, the uh, mysticism of Mario, the, the heroic magic that is Mario. Also, I guess Mario never gets a mushroom and gets big in this game. Like, he is, he is in small statue, uh, stature. I guess he never gets large in this game. Um, you know, like, this is this is what Mario would look like in, in Mario Brother platformers before he gets the mushroom and gets big. So I guess he's just always like this. Here's, here's what we're gonna do. Save the game again! Yes, in fact, I could even go back and get that heart, uh, that heart thing. But, you know what, I feel like we just had the game saved. We're gonna be okay. My god, I, I can't believe, though. Alright, beware of Goombas. Like this one? Boom! Let's go, buddy! Smash in the face. All right. What What is your favorite Mario game um, that isn't a Mario game? You know, like, so I, I would say, like, you know, actual, like, platformers, 2D or 3D, even though 2D are, like, my favorite, but 2D or 3D, I would say, are platformers that uh, are, like, sort of, quote-unquote, real Mario games. A game like Paper Mario or, like, Mario Tennis or Mario Kart or... You know, like Smash Brothers or something. None of those I would count as real, like, Mario games. They're games that Mario are in, and they're good franchises. Um, each, you know, doing their own thing. But I think a Mario game, the classic iconic Mario game, is Mario, like, running and jumping and doing platforming and stuff. And, uh, you know, like Mario Maker, even. Um, so, so, I don't know. What would you guys consider as, like, your favorite alternative Mario game? Um... I think for me, it might actually be Mario Kart on the Super Nintendo Battle Mode. Um, I've, I've never been a huge fan of the racing in Mario Kart. It's fine, but like I didn't own Mario Kart as a kid. But I, what I always really loved was the Battle Mode. Um, and I think the Super Nintendo for me was the peak. Um, I know in some of the later battle modes in like Wii and stuff, there weren't even like, you couldn't even do like a one-on-one -on -one battle. It was just these giant team battles. 
Uh, but, but yeah, battle mode was always, always a fun time. You like have people over, crack out the Super Nintendo, and everyone would, uh, everyone would get battling with each other. And everyone would be like screen watching each other too. I guess in the Super Nintendo it was only two players, but I still remember having a lot of fun. I guess we would pass the controller around depending on who won. Uh-oh. I made a stupid move because I don't think this guy can... Oh, he can headbutt. I was going to say, I don't know if he can attack guys in the air, but he can. Um, I should have jumped on the guy behind the first guy with Mario and then killed the other Goomba who's on the ground with the little guy uh, as like a safety measure because I wasn't sure if the little guy could actually attack guys in the air. But it all worked out for the in the end. So there we go. Right, this seems a lot easier this time around. And let's even stash that guy right in the face. Boom, hammer, bitch. Guess what? When you try and mug a guy, make sure you kill him because he will come back and end you. All right. I wish there was like a way to dodge or do something because like this Goomba is just going to hit me in the face. I know it's coming. Can't do anything about it. I just got to sit there and like take it. And I don't like taking it, guys. I want to be able to interact. I want to be able to stop. Like Mario's like getting pooped. He's like, it's been fun killing Goombas, but I'm getting a little tired. What is this? This is a, you got a close call bad. Remire's in danger, enemies sometimes fail to attack. Oh man, I needed that last time. Uh, eat a mushroom to get your energy back up. Oh, hello. Uh, restores five hit points. That could be useful. I might make use of that shortly. Oh, three guys. Three guys, what should we do here? So we're gonna only take two points of damage and one point of damage. Ah, eh, we're okay so far still. Let's just do this, do this normally. Boom. Plus I'm in I'm in danger mode, so enemies might not even attack. That is the thing that we needed. Oh wait, is that a badge I have to put on? God, I, I definitely should have wore that. <laughs> Instead of just taking I'm probably taking like an extra point of damage when I didn't need to. Okay, we jump on this guy. Kaboom! And then we'll kill this one with this guy. What are other good alternative Mario games? Um, I guess, like, even, like, Mario Tennis is good. Oh, like, Mario Party. Mario Party is always a good time, no matter what version you're playing there. Um, what are other good alternative Mario games? I know I'm, like, missing some. You know, like, I know, like, Mario's missing. That's actually more of a Luigi game, to be totally honest. But, uh, like what other games are, is Mario in? Oh, hey, look at this. Didn't even need to use the, uh, thing. glad I did not use my mushroom. So hold on, where are my badges? We want to equip. Mario's in danger, enemies will sometimes fail to attack. Boom, slam that badge on. Let's you do a power jump, uses two foot points. Um, yes, I will take it. <laughs> There we go. Maybe for that whole intro sequence, I was supposed to be using like the power foot. And so I died last time because I was stupid and didn't equip it. Hold it right there, you suspicious guy. Don't move. Whoa, it's uh, neon colored Goombas. Uh, you can't go past here, Mr. Big Shot. It's direct order from Goomba King. That's right. There's a Goomba King? I'm sorry. The only way uh, through the Goombas, that's me, Red uh, Goomba, and my brother, Blue Goomba. Okay, I just slaughtered a bunch of other Goombas. I'll kill you too. I'll, I'll make it happen, buddy. Right, you want to do this? Let's get real. Um, let's do this first. Go ahead and tattle. I don't. I don't know what the difference is. Blue Goomba. He's younger of the two notorious Goomba brothers. Six hit points. Attack power one. Defense zero. Uh, in his little speech, he's one of the Goomba King's men. He doesn't look. Uh, that healthy, he's weaker than his brother. All right, well, let's kill him first. Always kill the weaker one first. And we're going to go ahead and use our Fire Flower on the Goomba Bros. Eat it, Goomba Bros. There we go. So we will have that guy dead in a turn. Um, how'd you like some of these? Slams it with his head. Slams it with his head. All right. Now we will jump. We're gonna use a power jump on him. 
Kablam! Oh, three points of damage. I thought it said I'd only do two. I will take that. Blue! Blue Goomba! God, my little brother, you'll pay for that. Oh, God, watching your own brother die in front of your own eyes. That, that would, uh... That, that would definitely leave a mark. Okay, we'll uh, take a bit of damage here. Um, let's we'll smack him with a hammer and see what happens. How do you like hammers to the face? And let's actually get this guy to tattle. I don't like how it uses a term, but I want to know what I'm up against. He's the older, uh, seven hit points. Uh, order him to try and stop you. You can take this guy, no problem. He has a little more hit points. Okay, so... He has, he has almost virtually the same amount of hit points, actually. Oh, and look, he's, he's about to be dead. If I hadn't tattled on him, he'd be dead already, but whatever. Alright, we, we let the little baby Goomba do the finishing blow there. And we get some star points! I don't know what these are for. Hopefully something valuable. Uh, I'll let you go for now. Oh, I didn't... Oh, they're, they're running away. I thought I actually killed them. Uh, here's what we're gonna do. We're going back for health. There's no way we're going forward in this game and dying again. I refuse. Hopefully they're still gone. Yes, they are. Oh, look, and there's a save block right there, too. Let's go ahead and uh, do this. Boom. They know, they know that you're gonna wanna save. I wonder, I'm sure there are videos where people have gone through this, like no saving. I mean, I guess once you've gone through it like once, you like get a sense of like, uh, you know, like when you're in danger and when you're not and stuff and you can uh, safely go through the game and not have to worry about uh, worry about dying. I don't know. But for me, I'm just, I'm still learning. Still learning. So I died by accident. In like basically the tutorial level. That's so embarrassing. I don't know. Let's crush this guy. So I, I guess we're just going to be fighting Goombas till we get to the Goomba King. And then more of the game will unlock. I never know how far to go in these like RPGs. And like, should I should I make like a four hour video or oh, we're at the Goomba King's Fortress. Let's fight the Goomba King, assuming we can get to him in a reasonable amount of time and then spend a little bit more time exploring the world. But then I think maybe it'd be a good time to sort of move on um, and wrap up. Um, but yeah, I never know, you know, sometimes for these RPGs, people want to see more of them. Sometimes people want to see less. I don't know, but uh, this looks like uh, this. So Goomba King, I guess, is like a minor lord who's sworn allegiance to King Koopa, um, probably because he's like promising him some like tax incentives and so on. You know, you got to keep your minor lords happy. Again, if I've learned anything from Game of Thrones, um, so we're just talking about uh, you know this this luxurious palace, which is basically like one room in a tower. So it's actually not that big at all. It's like my house is bigger than this guy's palace. Oh, and he looks like he is suffering some mental problems. So, Mario, it's true. You've made it this far. I respect you for that. Unfortunately, this is as far as you'll ever get. Because I, the great and powerful King Goomba, will see it that you advance no farther. You hear that, Mario? No farther. Yes, you're definitely not insane king. <laughs> he's huge, but he's also insane. You know, we'll just, we'll pummel him into the dirt. How about that? How about, how about I just ice you all? How about that? Uh, beat him up, King Goomba. We've got your back. Leave him to me. Uh, hey Mario, I think maybe we ought to take out the Goomba Bros first, don't you think? They must be pretty weak since we just finished them back there. Yeah, guess what? Maybe a, no wait. No, I wanted to use a fire flower. Um, oh yeah, look, they only have two hit points. So, well, let's just crush him. Yeah! Kablam! So there's that one. Headbutt. You headbutt him. Because no matter what, we can't kill the, the blue Goomba in one turn. Um, ow. Two hit points of damage! Yikes. Alright, Mario. So Mario is going to jump on the king the goomba king for three points and then this guy will headbutt the little guy i like that the uh the colored goombas are weak um and also in a lot of these games the strategy almost always is take out the weaker guys first because what you're trying to do is minimize incoming damage and the way you minimize incoming damage is by killing off the weakest guys first um 
I'm trying to think of like games where that's not necessarily true. We want to take out the strongest guys. First. I suppose if the stronger guy has proportionally fewer hit points and you can get him down faster, then you might want to take out the guys who are doing more damage to you. But anyway, this is Goomba King. He's really big. I mean, look at him. He looks really powerful. Ten hit points. Oh, that's like nothing. Who cares if he's strong? You're much stronger. Gee, I wonder what he ate to become so big. He probably ate other Goombas. Soiling Goomba is Goomba. Ooh, I got lucky. Cool. Let's just keep jumping on him. Um, so he's down to five hit points. So being in danger, like I could use a mushroom to heal, but it, 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 there's actually some advantage to being at 50% health because it means that I'm probably only going to take 50% of incoming damage. So, actually what you want to do is hover in the 50% range, I would guess. As long as you're sure you're not going to die. I'm like, we totally got this. This guy's dead this turn. We output two damage per turn. He only does one. We out DPS some folks. Look at all those star coins he had up his butt. 30 star coins! We're rich! And we leveled up. Oh, sweet. All right, so max hit points will go up by five. Max firepower will go up by five. Max badge powers will go up by five. Let's do firepower. Because, like, I can manage my hit points, but if I can do more special attacks, I can take enemies down faster. How could I lose? It's because you've never fought a war in your life, buddy. Uh, victory! Thumbs up! Yeah, we did it! We're heroes! Um, now what, though? Oh, look at this. What is this? Huh. What does that do? Does that blow up the castle like in uh, Mario for the Super Nintendo? Good fight and all that, I must warn you, however. If you happen to find a strange switch somewhere, you should definitely not press it. It's dangerous, understand? You pressed it! Oh, no! What's gonna happen? Is, he just, is this castle just gonna explode? What the... Oh, it's just a, a giant piece. A piece of your castle fell off, sir. Now a window fell off. What? Whoa, wait, that doesn't make any sense. The windows are falling off. What? What is happening? And he's dancing on the remainder, and it's jettisoning him into a bridge. All right. And I see. I see the shimmer of a star in the distance there. Um, yay! We did it. We destroyed somebody's uh somebody's livelihood and house. And now we have a place to go because we want to get to the village. Yeah, I wonder if you can jump off the edge. No, you can't. So they have you on rails here for your own safety. Probably a good thing. Anything in here? Just rock, walk around shaking the bushes. Have you guys ever found anything cool in a bush? I once found a Ouija board. <laughs> yeah, that came out of nowhere. I once found a Ouija board in a bush. Um, some people, if they found a weird Ouija board... Ooh, a super shroom. Wow, 10 hit, hit points. That's pretty good. Some people who found a Ouija board in a random bush in a parking lot would be afraid to take it because they think it might be cursed. I was not. It did not curse me. I am still here. No monsters or ghosts invaded my house. But yes, I once found a Ouija board in a bush. As weird as that sounds. Save and continue. I like how there's a continue without save option if you want to like live dangerously. Like if you're just feeling like that badass. You're like, ah, I got this Paper Mario bag down. I don't need to save like a wuss. Let's see what's going on in Bowser's castle, a.k.a. Princess Peach's castle. Mighty King Bowser, I've been looking for you. Uh, Mario defeated the Goomba King. He's headed to Toad Town. So Bowser says, what? Unbelievable. What was Goomba King thinking? I use a star rod to make him a king because he begged me and Mario whips him so easily. What a wimp. Um, Kami Koopa, you are sure that Mario can never defeat us, right? Uh, please, 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 your vileness. Try to be calm. Goomba King is small time. I had a feeling he'd fail. It doesn't matter because while you're holding the star rod, you're invincible. Blah, blah, blah. So basically, I've got to take the star rod back when he's not looking. Or I've got to get the stars, the star spirits that revive me to somehow betray Bowser. It's sort of like a Voldemort Harry Potter situation where, like, you got to get the Elder Wand to betray Voldemort. We got to get the Star Rod to betray betray uh, King Bowser. Anyway, um, who's the closest Star Spirit to Mario? Is that the Koopa Bros Fortress? Mario somehow reaches them. Can the two Koopa Bros defeat him? King Bowser, blah, blah, blah. Um, uh, Hiya! 
Hey, there's the Koopa. They're ninjas. The Ninja Turtles. <laughs> That's awesome. Here come the Koopa Bros. Oh, yeah. We're the coolest of cool. That is kind of cool, actually. Ninja Turtles meets uh, meets the Koopas. Um, the, the music even sounds a bit Ninja Turtle-y. Um, anyway, their power of teamwork. We can put the hurt on Mario. All right. So do it. Yes, ma'am. Uh, ready, everybody? Or are they going to get wished on by a star? That is... Oh! 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 How'd you like it? Oh, I guess they were just sort of, like, showing what they would do. Um, all right. Well, this is what's happening now, I suppose. I'm going to fight some Ninja Turtle Koopas. Um, and off they go. <laughs> we don't need to watch, read all the dialogue to get the gist of what's happening, guys. I feel like we got it. We got the gist. Right, at, right, right by the, the marginal amount of attention we paid to that, we got it. Right, let's uh, get this thing too. What is this? A sleepy sheep. It works, makes all enemies sleep for a little while. Cool. What are Goombas, by the way? They, they've always looked like little potato people to me. Like, this guy looks like a small potato. Like, I would, if you cut him up into french fries, I'd probably eat him. Um, hey, look, there's something up there. See that? How do you get that, though? What if we do this? Yeah! I use my brain. And, ooh, a chest! Can we open it? There we go. I guess I was smashing him with a hammer. A hammer throw badge hits one enemy with a hammer, no matter where the enemy is. I don't care about that. I, so far, I've not encountered a situation where I need to throw my hammer. But you know what? If I ever do, I guess that'll be useful. Toad Town! We did it! We did it! Uh, Mario, I'm so glad the princess has been kidnapped. I feel like, shouldn't the toads be accustomed to the princess being kidnapped now? Like, shouldn't they have a, a government contingency plan that's been used so many times that they're very comfortable with the idea of self-governance? Like, why are they dependent on the princess? Why does that throw the town into chaos? They're like, oh no, but the princess got captured. Again! You know? They should just have adapted to it by now. I, I'm, I'm, I'm saying. Uh, can we go in here? Nothing. I don't want to talk to any of these useless people. Oh man, I want that thing so bad though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we can't get it. Um, let's see. Okay, so in, we're in Toad Town. Where do we want to go that'd be cool? We want to go anywhere else. We just basically we want to leave Toad Town. I don't care about Toad Town. I care about getting out of Toad Town. I guess we should check out all these shops. But yeah, what are the Goombas? I guess you know what? Aren't, aren't they? Um, huh. What's this say? Uh, Pow block. Flip shelled enemies and inflicts two damage on all enemies. I like the fire flower. It burns everything for th for uh, three. Hmm. We do have like 37 coins. Let's buy some stuff. We'll buy a fire flower. And we will buy a pow block. Because we're going to go up against some turtles soon. Might as well have a couple pow blocks. Boom. All right, and what's this do? Uh, makes a scary spirit appear and chase some enemies away. Nah, forget it. I want to fight all the enemies. I, I want all their coins and, and uh, power-ups and experience. Their star points. So I guess you need 100 star points to level up. Um, this guy says... Interesting facts, knowledge, blah, 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 blah. Okay, screw it. <laughs> uh, can we go in here, by the way? Can we, can we go in? No. Oh, I, I went I went in the warp tube. That totally worked. Hey, Luigi! What are you doing, bro? He's just singing. He's on the porch singing to himself. I wonder what my brother Mario is doing right now. I saw the princess's castle fly up into the sky, and everyone's been talking about how she's kidnapped and Goombas and Koopas are taking over. But I'll just sit here and sing a song on the porch because I'm an idiot. <laughs> it's good to see you. Luigi! You're useless. What have you been doing, man? I could have used your help. After all the castle craziness, I was really worried about you. Yeah, you seem worried. You're just sitting there doing nothing about it. Um, so it managed to escape in time. Um, anything else? Yeah, I got a Goomba with me. Don't ask. Don't ask, buddy. Uh, who are you? I'm Goombario. I see. Great. You're an exciting adventure with Mario. Talk about unfair. Someone has to look after this house, so I can't leave. Take care of Mario. Nice excuse. Nice excuse, man. Just leave leave me to do all the hard work. Anything in here worth grabbing? 
Um, here's where we... Goombario, here's where we sleep. Um, here's where letters addressed to Mario go. It's empty right now. Letters. Interesting. Goombario's, like, losing his mind right now. He's like, oh my god, I'm in Mario's house. This is, like, the ultimate fanboy experience. Um, oh, there's, like, this random pipes lying around. We lay a lot of pipe in our bedroom, Goombario. Um, and I'm not talking about plumbing, if you know what I mean. Talking about chicks, Goombario. We get all the chicks. The Mario Brothers. Everyone loves us. It's the whole reason we adventure, man. The whole reason we adventure. All right, let's get out of here. Follow me, Goombario. We gotta figure out a way out of Toad Town here. What does this sign say? Uh, Goomba Village, Peach's Castle. Well, that's where we want to go. Peach's Castle. So let's do it. Um, wait, what is this? What's happening here? Above us on the top floor, there's a dojo where we are always training at the dojo. Unless our master isn't here, in which case the dojo is closed. The letter just arrived saying the master will return soon, and then we will train. Thank you for that, sir. So I guess we'll train there later. Okay, smash this block? I cannot. I don't know what dictates whether a block is smashable or not. But anyway, we're talking about uh, Goombas. Yeah, I think they're little mushroom people. I think they're like toads are the good mushroom people and Goombas are like when mushrooms turn bad, I guess. I guess that's the idea. Uh, what does this say? Toad Town Newsflash. Princess Peach captured. Castle uprooted. Blah, blah, blah. We were there, man. We don't need to read about it. Um, okay. So I, I'm assuming we can't go this way. Oh, we can. Okay. So I'm assuming there will be nothing to do over here because the castle is just straight up gone. Right. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know where I'm going. I'm just kind of wandering around seeing what's what. Um, where where am I even? This is shooting star summits. Can we capture some of these stars? What's this sign say over here? Looking for something to drop by Mer Mervaloo's place. It's kind of cool, like shooting stars. Like they're literally stars that are like falling from the sky. Hmm. Are there any, like, bad guys to fight or anything to do at all? I'm just kind of wandering around. So it's, it's beautiful and majestic. I feel like I'm walking up a very elaborate cake. Like, doesn't it feel like a, one of those, like, wedding cakes is, like, multi-tiered? This could be, like, a giant cake. Oh, look, there's a star spirit up here. Yo, dude, Grandpa Star, help me. Welcome, Mario. We've been waiting for you. Sweet. Um, I love the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man star, bottom right. He's awesome. We are the Seven Star Spirits. Our job is to grant the wish of good people from our home in Star Haven, a place high beyond the sky. We're going to tell you something incredibly important. Please listen carefully. Um, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> the fact they told me to listen makes me want to do this. I don't know. Do you think we can figure out what to do if we don't pay attention here? Um, here's here's my guess. The stars are losing power because Bowser has a star rod. We got to get it back from him, and we can't fight him while he has it. So we're gonna have to figure a way to steal it. Um, uh, Mario, it looks like things are a lot more serious than I thought. Do you think the princess is going to be all right? I I'm really worried about her. You have weird allegiances, Goombario. Bizarre allegiances. I don't know why you care about us. I don't know why you're not on King Koopa's side and all this stuff. Okay, another cut scene of Princess Peach crying. Mar she thinks Mario's dead. She's kidnapped. Why does Bowser con consist constantly kidnap Princess Peach? Like, what's his end? Oh, maybe we'll learn, finally. Does he want to marry her? Or does he want to just, you know, use her as a figurehead, like a puppet leader for legitimacy for his own reign? Um, so even Mario doesn't have a chance of reaching us up here. As long as I have the Star Rod, no one in the Mushroom Kingdom can touch me. He keeps mentioning that. Here's the thing. If you have a magical artifact that makes you invincible, don't tell anybody about it. That's the secret. You put it, you, you make it like a penny. So it's something like ridiculous and no one would think is worth anything. You put it in your pocket and you never mention it exists. You tell people that you are just invincible and there's nothing they can do about it. And that's how you win, you know. That, w that was, uh, you know, I mean, even Voldemort kept his Horcruxes uh, secret. You know, he didn't want people to know what they were. Although, he, he, his failure was making them, um, you know, meaningful objects. He should have, like, 
made one Horcrux, it should have been like a grain of sand, and they should have like put it in a beach, you know, like where no one would ever find the thing, you know. That that's what he should have done. Anyway, um, ooh, it's a little baby star. Come to visit the princess. And Baby Star says, my name is Twink, um, you're a star kid, I came from Star Haven, I grant wishes. Alright, grant me a wish. I wish that this never, ha I wish told the whole today never happened. Um, so he's, he, she can't, he can't, he can't grant big wishes, she's asking for little things. So he's just gonna go, do you think you can still find Mario? Give him an item for me. Uh, this is a lucky star, and off he goes. He will give it to me. All right, thank you, Twink. Little Paper Mario. You know what's weird is, like, before I played this game, um, it's called Paper Mario, and I know all the characters are 2D, but, like, honestly, I'm playing the game, I'm legitimately forgetting that things are 2D. Like, it just kind of feels normal. Like, I'm not even really noticing that things aren't in 3D, um, which... I don't know if that's a good or bad thing, because I think the, the idea of 2D characters in a 3D world is quite ingenious and interesting, but it almost feels like they do too good of a job of making it seem natural, and so, like, I, I don't even appreciate it half the time. So I don't know. Let's see what this guy says. Um, this spot is a little tight for fortune telling. If you want your fortune read, talk to me over the counter. All right, let's do it, buddy. Tell me my fortune. Uh, my name is Merlovely. I'm a stunning fortune teller. Anyone who says that they are awesome is not awesome. Can help you find what you seek. Twinkle Star will show you all that's hidden. Um, shall I read your fortune? All right, go for it. Oh, s what? You want me to pay you? Wait. Star pieces, five coins, badge, 20 coins. No, screw that. No, You're, that's a scam. I, I don't want anything from you. It's empty. Um, okay. Can I, like, just break into your house? I'm just gonna use your lighthouse if you don't mind. What is up here? Is it, like, your bedroom? Oh, it totally is! <laughs> Who are you? I'm the famous Merlot of Shooting Summits. Please collect star pieces. Blah, blah, blah. Later. Okay, so I guess you can come here and, like, swap star pieces or something. We're probably not gonna get far enough for that to matter. I just want to fight the Koopa Ninja Turtles. If I could do that, I want to have, like, a few more good battles. Now, that is my goal with Paper Mario at this point. Alright, so that was... We went and experienced Starland. Not Stalin, Starland. Ouch! Alright, Twink. There are a lot of cutscenes and dialogue. So, my, my whole thing with, like, all RPGs, I think, is that I, I do like RPGs, but... I, I often just, uh, just, just want to, like, be playing things, you know? Like, I, I'm not super interested all the time in, like, listening to, like, lots of detail and story. So, like, I like RPGs where, like, the dialogue is a little more direct and to the point. But sometimes I find in some of these games, like, it's excessive. Where, like, there's too much banter and it could be whittled down to just the major points. You know what, you know what RPGs need? Is a verbose and a brief mode. Verbose gives you all this little banter and brief is just, like, one dialogue box that says the gist of what's happening. You know, like, very, um, to the point. I think, actually, that is something I've never seen in an RPG, but that would be awesome if that existed. And that, I feel like, should exist. Noise! Oh, we can time our jumps. I was just talking about how I wish that was a thing you could do, but you can do it. Oh, so they actually did include it. I take it back. It just wasn't unlocked yet. This is Magic Koopa. He uses Magical Rod. Hit points. Attack power three. Jeez. Okay, ow. Let's uh, make sure to jump on him again. Boom, boom, double, double trouble. We'll head bonk him. And uh, yeah, we'll kill him next time. I guess you can't dodge yet. Maybe you unlock that later. Maybe that is a thing. Boom, boom. And baby attack. Baby Goomba. I, I need more companions. That's what I need. I. I made fun of the fact that this kid wanted to join us, but he's actually been super helpful. <laughs> I need more allies. Alright, so we just literally killed that guy. You're strong as they say. 
Yippee! I'm gonna return to the princess. Blah 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 blah. Yeah. Like like that those four dialogue boxes could have been one, you know. So yeah, an RPG that has a brief mode that would be awesome. Cause like it's a th it, it is a joke where gamers like you know when they encounter dialogue boxes they just hold B to skip them, you know. Cause like sometimes you don't want all this witty banter. You just you just want to play the game. Like I I literally just want to go and get in a few more battles. Like that's what I'm looking for. So there you go. Anyone who's listening here, who's in the game game design industry, you know, pitch that at your next meeting. If you're going to have dialogue in a video game, have two modes, brief and verbose. I guarantee you people will like it. Merlon was looking for you. He lives in that house with the spinning wheel. It's rare for Merlon to call someone to his house. Like, that could just say Merlon wants to see you, right? It doesn't have to, all the stuff about it's rare and he lives in this house, blah, blah, blah. You know, that doesn't have to be there. Why do you keep knocking? <laughs> oh, there he is. You know, that literally none of this needs to happen. We could have just been opening the door and going in, you know. Like, I understand it takes away some of the charm and appeal, but that's why you'd have the verbose mode for people who want that charm and appeal. He's a wizard, though. Um, blah, 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 blah. But our hearts were, and then, I don't know, I don't know what he's talking about. It's an old man who just wanted to tell me a random story. And uh, I fell asleep because it was... The game admits the dialogue is so excessively long and boring that Mario himself fell asleep in his own game. That's meta, guys. That's meta. Okay. Uh, wait, what, what did he want? Um, no, I don't want to pay anything. Um, they said something about fighting the Koopa Brothers in front of a toad house. So... Oh, hello. This is what we totally need. Save the game. All right, let's see what's going on in here. Hello, Toad, can you heal me? Fresh your body and soul, would you like to take a nap? Yes, I would, sleep well. And I guy just jumped into my pocket, or my my pants or something. <laughs> I just fold up like a piece of paper. Um, did that work? Hold on, what, what's my life at? Um, oh, it's perfect, yes. All right, that's what I wanted. You know, by the way, in a world where everyone's made of paper, is the post office just like an airport? Like, is that how you ship things around? You fold yourself up into a letter? Oh my god, those are Koopas! I thought Koopas are bad guys. I don't understand the allegiances of this world. You can read any letter that has arrived for you and any other party members. Okay. Oh, I do have mail for Goombario. Uh, the red and, gr uh, red and blue Goombas. Uh, you were a lot stronger than you looked. We figured you were just some punk Goomba hanging around with Mario. Anyway, you proved yourself to us, and you showed us that being good is important as being strong. So, when you come back, do you think maybe we could be friends? Please say yes. We waiting. What? The, the Goomba brothers want to be friends now? Okay, so I guess he's being forgiven for committing genocide against his own people. So, there you go. Um, alright. Uh, where are we going now? What are these guys? It looks like they have like something in a box there. Can I talk to these guys? Uh, good to meet you, bud. Ralph's the name. I'm starting up a little business. Um, all right. Can I break your animal out of the box? Forget it. I want nothing to do with you. Where's the next fight? That's what I want to know. Okay, this part is blocked off. Building materials are used to stack the road. Come down when the earthquake hit possible to go south with all the scattered wood. Don't worry, we're restacking as quickly as possible. Uh, please bear with us so we get everything in order. Okay. Where do we go? Damn it, I wish I read those dialogue things. Here's a bunch of weird shadowy uh, guys. Oh, and they're actually blocking the way. Alright, what do you guys want? Uh, you don't want to go out there? It's way too dangerous. Go Going to Koopa Bros Fortress would be a huge mistake. Definitely, definitely don't go. Hey, those are the Koopa Bros! Most of all, though, you shouldn't go asking old man Merlon for help. That would be really bad. I mean, you don't even think about it. Hmm. Maybe we should go ask old man Merlon for help. Let's see what he says. Um, ah, Mario, do you want me to predict the path you should take? All right, whatever. Excellent. Now relax while I read what your future holds. Uh, uh, open wide... Aha! 
What? It's a disco ball. We're gonna have a dance party, a dance off. Whoa, he actually does have magical powers. I thought he was just a uh, some kind of uh, you know uh, like a scamming psychic. Oh, what is this? You must journey to the Cooper Rose Fortress. You can travel there by following Pleasant Path east of town. The path begins right next to Toad's house. If you have any problems getting started, please don't hesitate to ask for my help. Okay, here, here. How about let's ask for your help? Strange toads blocking the east. Dude, you made me pay five coins to get you. Oh, son of a. Um, that shouldn't be. That's ridiculous. Such a thing has never been heard of. Never. I'll get to the bottom of this. Follow me. I'll see what's going on. All right, let's do this. So I guess there are some like puzzle solving elements in this game here. You gotta use your wits. All right, you guys are asking for it now. Oh, come on, I didn't want to talk to you. Nobody cares about you. Uh, I told you, you can't pass. Take off. Take off, you hoser. You aren't toads, are you? Um, we don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, what gives? Ask anyone. We're just cute, ordinary toads hanging out. Reveal your true selves. He's gonna totally, uh, kaboom! They were the Koopa Bros all along, just as I thought. How'd you guess it was us? We were perfectly disguised. Shucks, black, yellow, green. We retreat for now. All right, that was pretty easy. Um, let's go kill the Koopa Bros. Let's do it. Um, to get to the Koopa Bros Fortress, you'll need help from a blue-shelled Koopa. This is a very... A strange portent in Koopa Village, you might uh, find something that will clear it up. I must return now. All right. You know what? I'm just looking at how long we've been playing this for. I, I think we're not going to make it to the Koopa Bros. But, you know, in the interest of just seeing a little bit more of this game, let's just see what, uh, see what the path to the Koopa Bros Fortress is like. Oh! They first struck me. So the Koopas can do first strikes now. That's curious. Okay, so let's jump on the Goomba, and boom! One hit kill, perfect. Now let's get this guy to tattle on the Koopa. Let's learn about the Koopas. This is a Koopa Trooper, everybody knows Koopa Troopers, they're Bowser's followers. Max hit points four, attack power one, defense power one, their shells are hard. If you can flip them over, their defense power fall to zero and it'll become much easier to defeat them. You can flip them with a POW block or a jump attack, okay. Oh, so we're finally, so there's some strategy here. So you have to jump on them and there we go. So you flip them over and then when they're flipped, you can do more damage to them. There we go. And they might even, yeah, they skip an attack. Interesting. I like this. So yeah, the bad guys, there's like actual like strategies and moves to try to like manage and control them. I think that's actually pretty cool. I wonder if later you get an attack where you can do one jump on one guy and the second attack and go on to a different guy. Cause that would be pretty useful. Let's get a first strike on this guy. I think a first strike on a Koopa would be good cause you'd knock him over right away. So let's jump on this guy. Boom, boom. That's so satisfying to get the double jump. Um, let's head bonk this guy. Boom, boom. And we did it. We're heroes. Man, these guys are, it's so much easier to defeat the bad guys when you can actually do these like extra moves because it makes me feel like you've actually got control over like, uh, you know, your the efficiency of your attacks. Oh, I missed the first strike. See, like, that, like I'm okay uh, missing. Oh, what am I supposed to do? I, I, I sort of wasn't reading that correctly. Um, I'm okay missing, uh, mi missing an attack if it's my own fault, you know, because I didn't time something properly. Ooh, and I actually blocked. Oh, and you can block! Oh my god, this is just like Mario RPG. Okay, hold on, I want to figure this out. Push this to the left and release when it lights up. Okay. Boom! Oh, cool! I like this, this is neat. So all the different attacks have like a different power mode. So it's like there's certain things you can do to do extra damage. Huh, I like it. It's like an evolution of Mario RPG from the that started way back in the Super Nintendo. Awesome. This, this game just, the, the combat of this game, initially I wasn't super impressed, but I, I actually really like it now. 
uh, the Disney attack pad. Like it's it's simple. It is an RPG, but it is there is also this action element where you have control over it. I like that. Um, and it's it's simple enough, but it's like more than just tapping the A button. It's like there's a bit of variety in it. It's cool. It's easy to figure out. I like it. Okay, here we go. Yes, first strike. We got it. Those guys are harder to get first strike on than it seems. Okay, so let's let's see. Let's do this guy. Let's finish this guy off. Boom, boom. And then we will get. I wonder. It'd be cool if, like, when the Koopas were like on their backs, if the hammer did like double damage, because then like the jump you would need to do to knock them on their bellies, and then the hammer you would need to do to like finish them off or something. Like maybe that's getting a little too complicated, but I feel like that would be pretty pretty cool to have that level of sophistication in the combat. Um, I'm not getting this like double attack every time, by the way. So let's see if we can get it this time. Boom, boom, and we killed the Koopa. So like these guys, if you don't fight well, they'll do quite a bit of damage to you, but I'm like finishing them off, taking virtually no damage. This is the kind of combat that uh, I was expecting. Um, oh, now we have reached an impasse. Oh wait, let's smash this thing. Yeah, I knew it, I knew it. There's a little block here. All right, let's go one or two more screens and then we'll we'll start wrapping up here. I keep, I keep saying we're gonna wrap up, but I'm starting to have like more and more fun with the combat in this game. And we're actually in the middle of combat, so I kind of don't want to quit like right away. Okay, we're gonna get a hammer. We're going to, oh, I guess we gotta hammer the guy in front. Oh, interesting, so jumping, you can jump to any guy, but hammering, you have to go for the nearest guy. Very cool. Boom! Oh, it only did one point of damage, eh? Um, this guy... I don't want him to attack, because he'll just get spiked. Spiked Goomba... Alright. Blah, blah, blah. Ah, he got me. The jerk. But now that I have half damage, I may... Noise! Uh, I may... You know, dodge any incoming attack. So there's a chance the enemies won't attack, and I can also block... So there's, there's lots of complexity to this. I like it. Like, I, I don't want to stop playing. <laughs> okay, we'll head bonk this guy. Boom, boom. Noise. I, I love I love that uh, the double attack. Okay, here we go. Boom. Ah, oh, it didn't work. Ah, oh, and, and the blocking didn't work either. Right, let's just do it. I want to get, like, double attack on this guy. Hmm. He only ever takes one damage. I'm not getting the like nice thing on that one. I'm not as good with the hammer. All right, what do we got going on over here? Any other bad guys? Anything? Uh, anything going on down here? It's like a secret or something. Oh, hello. Oh, I can't jump that that far. Oh, I want that thing so bad. Whatever the hell it is. Wait, did he just? <laughs> I thought he just jumped in the water and killed himself. All right, there's a turtle. What is this? Sleepy sheep. Okay, let's break these things first. We'll fight this turtle. Come on, turtle. Yeah, there we go. Man, getting that first strike is, oh my God, things are getting complex. Things are getting, we might die here, guys. This might be it. Oh man, I kind of don't want to die. Okay, let's, uh... oh shoot, I, I, I'm totally gonna die if I don't use an item. I need to use a uh, mushroom on Mario. Pew! The power of mush compels you. All right, headbutt. Let's get this guy. Ah, oh, I didn't get the nice. Damn it! Oh no! Oh no! And I took two damage. Oh, I took damage there too. My timing is all off. Okay, so we'll jump on this guy. Oh, damn it. Okay, this this could be the end, guys. Oh, God. I, I'm so off with the timings all of a sudden. I think it's because I'm panicking. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, attack this guy. Oh, shoot. <laughs> damn it. Here we go. Yes, there's the nice. All right, we killed him. Um. 
Yes, we blocked that. Okay, I was just doing it like way too early. Okay, we gotta get this guy. Uh, and release when it lights up. Yeah, there we go. One hit kill. So the second it lights up, you gotta release it. Yikes, okay, that mushroom barely kept me alive. We got a health, we have only three health. Should I use the super mushroom? See, the thing is, we've, we've gotten so far into this, like, little battle area that I would not be surprised if there was either a save point or full health, like, right around the corner. Makes me reluctant to want to use, uh, use a thing. Koopa Bros Fortress, the Koopa Village. Now, to get into the Koopa Bros Fortress, I think it said we needed the help of one of the Koopas from the Koopa Village. Hey, look, a bunch of coins! Oh my god, this could be it, guys. Oh god. This is trouble. Okay, you know what? We're, we're, gonna, we're gonna live dangerously. Um, oh my god. This is, this is all skill. Either we're going to come out of this victorious, or not at all. Here goes, Are you guys ready? We're risking it all. Oh! Oh my god, we're still alive! We have one health! We're in, like, peril mode. Okay. Noise! <laughs> we're so... barely holding on. Okay, I guess I should use the, the power mushroom, right? I guess I should. I, I would be stupid not to. Okay, we would have gone out... We wouldn't have got out on a, on a pretty epic failure, though, wouldn't we? Wait, how do I... Oh, I can only use it in combat? What? I, I can't use it now? Wait, 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 hold on. Uh, use which item? There we go, the super shroom. Yeah, power me up! Power me up! If I just find full health right over here, I'm gonna be, like, very disappointed. Okay, there's, there's Goombas to fight. Uh, attack with him. This is just practice. Well, we should probably start wrapping this up, because this could just go on and on and on. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun um, strategies. Do nothing. Damn it. I'm having a lot of fun with the, the combat now that I'm actually figuring it out, now that I know how to block and stuff. Um, like, there's a lot of complexity here. I think, by the way, Paper Mario here, this seems like a great game, um, in my opinion. Like, it's... In the same way that Mario RPG on the Super Nintendo was like a, a great, you know, remix of the Mario formula into an RPG, I feel like they took all the things that worked in Mario RPG and they just, like, translated them into the N64. And Paper Mario is such a creative way of trying to do that, you know, like doing it with paper and so on, where all the characters are 2D in a 3D world. Very neat. Um, the world feels very fleshed out, very cool. My one complaint is that the dialogue is sometimes a bit excessive when it doesn't need to be. And, like, I know they're kind of creating banter and stuff for, like, the kiddies. And it's kind of, like, funny and fun for them to enjoy. But, like, to be totally honest, most gamers skip so much dialogue that... I truly think that uh, a missed feature in uh, RPGs has been a verbose dialogue option. So, that, like, literally, you don't have to... You, you don't have to skip skip the dialogue and miss important parts. Instead, it will just only tell you the important parts. That would be awesome. Like this whole part, can it be Mario? Uh, are you Mario? Welcome to Koopa Village. I wish I could really welcome you, but we're in big trouble. Can you see this kind of madness is going on? The village is an uproar from the fuzzies. This guy could come up and say, the fuzzies are attacking our village. Um, they look like this. You need to kill them. That's all he should say in the brief dialogue, you know, but if if this game had that one option for a brief dialogue mode, I would say this is like uh, almost the perfect um, RPG. Uh, I mean, you know, there have been many, there are many other RPGs and certainly um, there are better RPGs if you're really into RPGing, but if you're looking for like an RPG light, Paper Mario and the N64 I think is great and every, you know, my only complaint with the N64 generally is that I never really grew up with the controller, so I always find the controller awkward. I didn't find the controller awkward at all today, and, like, just got so used to it, because it's very easy to use. And this is, like, you know, an RPG, so the... You, it's not like an action game where you have you need, like, super precise controls anyway. So, yeah, I don't know. Paper Mario, I think it's a great game. I would definitely recommend it. I could see myself playing more of this, to be totally honest. So, um... 
yeah, I don't know. I, I definitely think it is a game that is worth playing before you die. I almost am enjoying it more than Mario RPG. Not that I didn't enjoy Mario RPG, but just for some reason, I think this feels like Mario RPG, only slightly more advanced. Um, so, yeah. I'm, in fact, going to save my game just in case I want to come back to this someday. So, yeah. So, those are my thoughts on Mario RPG. What do you guys think of uh, Paper Mario here? Is it a game that you yourself have played? Is it a game that uh, you have enjoyed? Um, do you agree with my assessment? Either way, um, is it a game that uh, you would recommend to people? Or, you know, is it a game that you don't really care for? I don't know. Well, what, are your, what are your thoughts and opinions? What are your memories, your fond memories of this one, guys? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, I'm always kind of interested to hear other people's take on these classic games. But as someone who never played Paper Mario until today, I really enjoyed myself. Um, anyway, that's it for me today. If you guys have liked the video, regardless of what, do you th what you think of the game or my opinion of it, don't forget to uh, click that like button, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. Um, I will be back soon with another game. And, oh, look at this. This is fun. So in this whole village, you just got to save these turtle shells. This is cool. Anyway, I'll be back with a new game and a new video soon. So, hey, you don't want to miss out on that. Until next time, my friends, you all take care of yourselves. And uh, we'll see you soon. Peace. Whatever, dude. I tried. I tried to help you. You're on your own.